Oh, uh, they found you. A, that wasn't. No, they didn't find me. They were all involved in various occupations, which are personal to them, I suppose. But uh, th these parts almost were written uh, for these people. They gravitated toward them in that regard. We came together on it, talked about it, and uh, uh, this is the way it grew. We had to do it at a time when everybody was free of commitment. That's why we were in Palm Springs and 115 in the shade for most of the picture, because uh, they're busy in the fall, these gentlemen, you know. I hope so. And perhaps a few animals that have uh, strayed <laughs> along, you know, the outside of the theater that kind of are, you know, I think they'll even let them in if they behave themselves, you know, and sit correctly. You know. A lot of animals, as you know, just uh, tend to lounge and uh, tend to crawl over seats. But if a dog or a cat um, or a lion, uh, you, a lion, of course, is a definite symbol in one of the other companies, um, <laughs> sits in his seat correctly and dresses. I think there's nothing uh, more uh, off-color than to have a naked animal. Um, <laughs> Well, uh, there were many aspects to the picture that were exciting, naturally. Uh, I play the part of Dingy Bell, uh, and my partner, who is Buddy Hackett, who is now abroad, who unfortunately isn't with us at uh, this time, plays Benji Benjamin, and we're two writers on the way to Las Vegas. And to see this, this uh, tremendous project come to fruition, working with such great pros uh, as Sid Caesar and, of course, the Milton Burl and Johnny, his first picture, who, and he's absolutely, I understand, he's absolutely magnificent in the picture, as well as everybody else. I, I can best describe the picture by saying that it's a, it's an all-out playground. It's a public playground. This picture can be, it's, uh, it just runs the gamut of everything you'd like to find in a playground. It has the swings, it has the bars, it has the slides. It uh, has the, excuse me, the children <laughs> in the playground. I thought I told you to wait for me in the box. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, but the fact is, Mr. Kramer, I want to just sum this up and then I'll finish. Uh, I didn't mean to be facetious there. No. I sensed it a little for a moment there, but I got over it. <laughs> Five and a half months I got over it. Anyway, uh, Mr. Kramer's direction, I think, was one that was a very, uh, very astute in his planning uh, to... Uh, to be able to uh, uh, direct and to point uh, the different uh, people that he had to uh, work with in this picture is a great accolade in itself uh, to Mr. Kramer. However, the fact is even, for instance, I can remember a very serious scene that was to have been done amidst all of this comedic atmosphere. Uh, a very serious scene, which yours truly happened to be in, and he came to me, and to show you how deft he is in his direction, he. Uh, came and he said to me, I want you to have a parallel theme going, because I had to have tears in my eyes amidst all this, a parallel theme. He said, for instance, before the camera starts rolling, you start saying to yourself, I mean, just to, to, to tear up and make isn't going to do it. And he showed me this. He said, I, I want you to have a parallel theme in your mind going, like saying, before I say action, say my doggy is dead. You understand? My doggy is dead. We've all had dogs. My dog is dead. So the, uh, he said, quiet, please. Ivan Volkman said, quiet. Everybody was quiet and waiting because it was a, a very serious scene and they were very uh, courteous to have been quiet. And uh, finally, Stanley said, roll them. The cameras began to grind. And then he said, parallel theme. To me, just threw that in again. I started thinking, my doggy is dead. And uh, he said, action. Now, before my first line, I said, to myself, of course, my doggy is dead. And he also gave me another trick. He said, if that doesn't work, that parallel thing, you pull a small hair in your nose, <laughs> and you'll have, a, you'll have hairs like, so you know what kind of direction you have. <laughs> Let me just say this, uh, I don't think there was too much of a fight over the billing because all of us really uh, are very anxious to do the picture. Uh, fortunately, uh, it was built alphabetically. 
uh, with the exception of Spencer Tracy, who was built first and then the rest are built alphabetically. Of course, if Steve Allen was in the picture, I'd have been cooked. Uh, and it's built, it's built alphabetically, so there's no beef about that. Well, no, uh, there's no truth to that. <laughs> I think you're a little rascal, you made that up on your own. <laughs> This is one picture I would like to say to all my fans and all people, period. Uh, I don't do any sounds in this picture. There are plenty of natural sounds. We had an unusual day. I'd like to add for what it's worth. I don't know how much time we have. Uh, I'm sure it'll be, I'll give, be given a signal. Um, we had a day when we were in the desert, uh, speaking about sound, uh, we had uh, problems with the airplanes, aircraft going over. Uh, but one of a uh, funny scene to me was, here was this uh, nine million dollar production and this sea of people and cameras and equipment and suddenly a little cricket that took off in one of the desert bushes. Uh, I don't know how a cricket sounds, I can't do one yet. Um, but at any rate, it uh, gave out its little song to our expense and uh, they finally threw a grenade in the bush. <laughs> uh, they, Literally, they, they tried to catch the cricket. They couldn't catch the cricket. They chopped the bush down. He was a fighting cricket. And we finally just threw a grenade in and... <laughs> well, I would say, um, whatever service I had, uh, in the service during the war. I remember Mr. Kramer saying, this is just going to be just an inch shot. It'll be nothing at all. You just have hold her and just put the asbestos around your arm and you'll be fine. And then World War II was like a firecracker. <laughs> I've never seen so much explosive in my life. Many times. Many times, yes. <laughs> My friends out there, land of the planets, we, I hope you know them all. Uh, mine is Mars uh, this week. And I would say to them, uh, Alexa, Kumati, oh. <laughs> which means see Mad 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 World. Oh.